Well, during my career, there was a lot of hellish and very bad days. But one I remember very well, very clearly, it was in the end, 92 in the Tour of France. We went to uh, a stage just yesterday. I can't remember where we started, but it was a very mountainous stage. And uh, in the beginning, you know, it was quite aggressive. And um, then there was a breakaway. And I was in that breakaway on the climbs. I remember I, I was getting dropped very early, then trying to get back in again. It was a long way to go at the halfway point, And when you're feeling pretty empty at that point, uh, yeah, you start asking yourself questions. There was that flashes through my mind, why am I doing this? And of course, uh, in a Tour of France, a three week tour, everybody goes through bad days, even the big ones who are you know, going for the win. Uh, and you're hoping that the bad day is not on the real difficult days where there's you know, three or four mountain climbs to be done with a mountain top finish. And I remember I was with a teammate in a group of, I think about eight or 10 riders, Acacio de Silva, the Portuguese rider. And uh, I remember saying to him, uh, I, cannot, I, I cannot get to the end of this day. And he said, come on, we'll stay in this group. So we'll, you know, uh, they will uh, ride steady to the finish. And I remember saying to him also, there's lots of more riders behind in other groups. Kept on talking to me, motivated me a bit, and I eventually got to Siestier, 25 minutes plus down on the winner. And the next morning, I remember waking up and I was totally shattered. And uh, I remember going to the start that morning and I said to myself, how am I going to get through this day? But yeah, you just, it's the Tour of France. And the Tour of France, you know, if you can finish at all, if you can continue, you will, go, you will continue going on. And that's what, I, that's what I done and I, uh, I got to Paris. But it was a real killer of a day and a, a day that I will remember all my life.